Hi, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How was your weekend? Tell me. Nice at home. <laughs> okay, excellent. So you were able to rest. Okay, perfect. So basically, this is our last week. Yeah, we're almost finishing. Um, something that I just want to recall you is that we're not having classes this Thursday because it's a holiday. And we are going to finish on Monday the 21st, okay? So don't forget that. Good. So we are going to begin with today's class. Well, what are we going to be studying? In this unit, unit four, what we are going to be talking about is about tech support, okay? What does it come to your mind when we start talking about tech support? What ideas come to your mind when talking about tech support? Uh, it can help tech support is helping with our have problems with the computer, internet, cell phone. I think, I think so. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so basically, I can tell you that I've been asking for tech support right now because of my internet connection. I don't know why, but sometimes it doesn't want to work. And sometimes it does. So that is something that we are going to be doing today. We are going to be learning how to report technical problems or technical issues, okay? But before that, I'm going to start by checking attendance. I need to know how many people I have. And also, let me see, today is, what day is it, 14, right? Okay, perfect. Okay, so I'll check attendance right now. Alba Nelly Reyes. Ana Delmi Herrera. Carlos Alberto Meléndez. Claudia Guadalupe Arias. Consuelo del Carmen Rivera. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Thank you. Daniel Enrique Orellana. Giovanni Alexander Pineda. Isabel Beatriz Joya. Juan Carlos Peña. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Osmel Vizcarra. Present teacher. Thank you. Linda Yvette Márquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Miguel Ángel Domínguez. Presente, Techa. Thank you. Norma Carolina Villeda. Renata Romero. Reinaldo Castro. Presente, Techa. Thank you. Senaida América. Presente, Techa. Thank you. Silvia Suleima. Presente, Techa. Thank you. Suleima Verónica. Yomara del Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you. Daniela Alexandra. And Jenny Carolina. Okay, perfect. So as I was mentioning to you before, Basically, unit four is about tech support. Vamos a aprender eso, ¿verdad? De lo que es soporte técnico, cómo llamar, cómo pedir ayuda cuando nosotros tenemos problemas. 
Okay, that's basically what we are going to be doing in this unit or during the week. And before we begin, I need you to tell me if you have any question or any doubt about the topics that we studied before or about the platform. Antes de ir ya o entrar ya de lleno en lo que es esta unidad, necesito saber si tienen alguna pregunta, duda. De los contenidos que hemos visto anteriormente. Ninguna teacher. No. No. Oh, teacher. Okay. Oh, no, teacher. Okay, perfect. Se le fue el inter. Sí, pero me puso en la lista. Sí, 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 le tomé asistencia. Ah, ok, ok. Gracias. <laughs> A usted. Ok, so as I was mentioning, since there are no questions or doubts, we are going to be talking about how to report a problem over the phone. Or what are probably the most common issues that you have at work. So I'm going to be sharing screen right now. Um, let me see. Okay, so here we are. So when we talked about tech support, what are the most commonly issues that you have? The most commonly issues that you have. What are those? Los problemas más comunes que ustedes tienen cuando hablamos de soporte técnico, ¿cuáles son? Access to internet. Yeah, that is the most commonly one. Access to the internet. What else? A raving war. Sorry, a what? Arrive in work. What do you mean? When it's raining. Problem. Problems in the work. Ah, problems at work. Yes. But what type of problems? A stress. <laughs> okay. Yeah, stress is one of the most common problems that we face nowadays. Okay. Uh, Juan, I think that you said about monitor, right? Okay, what else? When is raining, teacher. Okay. When it rains, we have a lot of problems, okay? But probably we have it with the internet as we already have, or there is a blackout. Do you know the meaning of blackout? What we call in Spanish, a pagón, a blackout, okay? Okay, se va la luz. There is a blackout, okay. And how many of you work with machines or devices at work? ¿Cuántos usan este máquinas o dispositivos en el trabajo? No one? Only with computers? Impresora. Ah, the printer. Okay, the printer. I use uh, two machines. Uh, I use a forklift and I use a, a little car. It's called a mule. How do you spell it? No, M U L. Hey. 
A, תומך M, U, R, E. It's like a golf car. Son como unos carritos de golf, son pequeños. Ah, ok. Mule, mula le llamamos nosotros. Mula, no es un M, U, L, E. Ah. Es como un carrito, es como un carro de golf. Y solo nos, nos ocupamos para andar dentro de, de, la, de la base. Entonces, a veces tenemos problemas con ese tipo de vehículos. Ah, ok. Good. Ok, so, what other type of devices do you use at work? ¿Qué otros dispositivos o herramientas utilizan ustedes? Radio communication. Ok, the radios. Your cell phone as well. Ok, so if we focus on one of these devices that we use at work, if I focus on the printer, what could be the problems that I could have with that printer? ¿Qué problemas puedo tener yo con una impresora en el trabajo? Se le ataca el papel. Ah, okay. So if I start talking about the printer, okay, good. You said que el papel se le atasca. And how do you say that in English? Any idea? So we have that the paper gets paper. Paper is el papel, ¿verdad? Get jammed. Queda atascado. What else? In the red. What do you mean with the red? Connection. Ah, okay. So connection. Problems. Ajá, uh -huh. what else? Con el que se acaba. Sorry. El toner cuando se acaba. Ah, uh, so it ran out of ink. Se le acabó la tinta. What else? Only? Mala configuración del printer. Ah, ok. So there is a bad configuration. Ok, what else? Ok, so these are some examples. So we're talking about a device that we use on a daily basis, probably at work. And we said the printer, and as you said, one of the most common problems that we have is that the paper gets jammed, the connection, the, sometimes we may have connection problems. This is something very common that we run out of ink and it, we may have a bad configuration in one of the settings of the printer. So when we start talking about tech support, there are certain expressions that we are going to use. So I'll stop sharing screen. Cuando hablamos de lo que es soporte técnico, hay ciertas expresiones las cuales nosotros vamos a estar utilizando. Okay. And as well, there are things that you are going to be explaining. Ustedes van a explicar, ¿verdad? I don't know if you have ever given tech support. ¿Alguna vez han dado soporte técnico a alguien? Teacher, soporte técnico podría contarse mmm, quizá no solo eh, referente a la computadora, sino un ejemplo, estamos en la empresa viendo una nueva plataforma y a través de Teams eh, nos brindamos eh, soporte entre compañeros. ¿Podría contarse eso? 
Sí, es que el soporte técnico no es solamente en computadora, ¿verdad? El soporte técnico también puede ser, ya sea con páginas en internet, páginas web. Digamos, si ustedes tienen una aplicación del banco, ustedes también pueden pedir ayuda o soporte técnico al banco o a la institución. Si ustedes tienen su intranet o la propia web ahí en el trabajo, ¿verdad? Ustedes también pueden pedir asistencia para que les ayude con eso. O si tienen lo que uso de maquinaria, por ejemplo, ya sea un contómetro o si usan una caja registradora, uh, what else? Uh, let me remember a car, as Daniel was telling us, a forklift. Una forklift, uh, ¿qué más? O sea, ustedes pueden pedir soporte técnico del, del equipo del que ustedes utilizan ahí en el trabajo. Ahorita estamos hablando de la impresora, ¿verdad? Porque fue el primer ejemplo que vimos. O que vimos. Pero sí, si sí, digamos, este, si ustedes trabajan también, digamos, o hay alguien que está en el sector alquilero, textil, estamos con las ranas, las planas, collareteras, etcétera, y a veces igual la máquina se atasca, se quiebra una aguja o ya no puedo coser, no me sale el zigzag, entonces tengo que llamar a los de soporte técnico para que vean qué es lo que está pasando. O si trabajo con maquinaria ya pesada, ¿verdad? De producción, igual, digamos, tengo que llamar a otro de soporte técnico en la máquina, digamos, si se arruinó, si es un torno, si es una pesadora, si es un CNC, etc. ¿Ok? So it's not only about computers. Okay, teacher, thank you so much. You're welcome, Samaina. Okay, so when we talked about tech support, uh, there are many, many things that we have to consider. And probably one of them, or the most important, is how to be patient. Why? Because most of the time, um, it's going to be other people guiding us through the process or through all the steps that we have to follow, that we need to follow in order to solve something. Tenemos que seguir un montón de pasos a veces, ¿verdad? La gente va bien detalladamente, vaya, digamos, si es la computadora, si no puedo abrir Zoom, me dicen, vaya, tiene que ir a, digamos, ¿qué? A la página principal. Va, ok, ya estoy ahí. ¿Y ahí qué hago? Y ustedes me dicen, vaya, tiene que ingresar un correo, contraseña, etcétera, etcétera. Vaya, cuando tengo problemas con el audio, ¿qué puedo hacer yo? Ah, y ustedes me dicen, mire, este, desconecte los audífonos, vuelva a conectarlos, o sálgase de la sesión, o a veces que no sé qué, a veces hasta la cámara no me quieren encender y yo me quedo así como que ahora qué pasó. Entonces ya ustedes ahí comienzan a dar lo que es soporte técnico, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? So what we are going to do, because basically this is like the last thing that we are going to be doing during the week, we are going to be talking about some problems that we may find at work. And in order to do that, we are going to be working, let me see, on page 42 in our student's book. I'm going to start sharing screen with you. Uh, let me see, here it is. Okay, so you can see that here we have this short conversation. Um, okay, so we already talked about it, printers. It says, what is the most common problem with printers? How often do you use them? Then we have here, this short conversation. So I'm going to read it and then we are going to practice it. So we have the conversation between Mike and Maria. And this conversation takes place over the phone. Okay, es una llamada telefónica. So you can see he's greeting the customer or this person, Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. 
Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see. I'll be there right away. Okay? So this is the short conversation that we have about tech support. You can see that here, Maria is calling a technician. Ella está llamando a un técnico, a technician. And he's telling her or he's asking to her what the problem is. Le está preguntando cuál es el problema y ya ella comienza a explicar. Generalmente cuando nosotros no estamos acostumbrados a un equipo, ¿verdad? Nosotros describimos lo que sucede. So, for example, you can see that she says that there is, that the printer is making a strange noise. Lo que es la impresora, ¿verdad? Que está haciendo un sonido extraño. Ok. And she says that there is a message that says service and that there is a red light on the error button. Ok. Ya que ella está describiendo qué es lo que está sucediendo. So what we are going to do right now is to practice this short conversation, okay? And then you are going to be working on your own conversation. So since right now I only have 10 of you, we are going to read all. So I'm going to have Silvia and Reynaldo, you're going to begin. Hey. My Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from Accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Mr. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message? In the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a, a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see. I'll be there right away. Okay, thank you. So now we're going to have Senaida and Daniel Enrique. Okay. Hello, Mike. Uh, is department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from Accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem? What is the problem, Miss Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working. It is making a strange noise. Is there a mess in, in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check in. I see I will be there right away. Okay, okay. thank you. So we're going to continue with Juan Carlos and Miguel. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from Accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Miss Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error, on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see, I'll be there right, right away. Okay, thank you. 
So now Thank I'm you. going to have, let me see, um, Linda and Norma. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Choa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Mrs. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you come soon to check it. I say I will be there by the way. Okay, thank you. So we're going to have Xiomara and Daniel. Daniel Luna. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from Accounting. I would like to report a problem with my print printer. What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it is making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control in the control panel? Yes, it is says a service. I own there is a red line on the error button. I would like you to come so to check it. I see. I will be there right away. Thank you. And I think that I'm missing Juan, Juan Osmel, and Carlos Alberto, right? Right, teacher. I'm starting. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Mario Choa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What's the problem, Miss Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making such a noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you I to see. call soon to check it. I see, I'll be there right away. Okay, thank you. So you can see that here we have the shared conversation. And as we mentioned before, this is a conversation that is taking place over the phone. So es una llamada telefónica. So now, something that we need to take into account is the following. When we are reporting a problem over the phone, there are certain things that we need to do. Cuando estamos nosotros reportando, ¿verdad? Lo que son problemas por el teléfono, ¿verdad? Hay ciertas cosas que nosotros hacemos. Lo primero que es, the first thing that you do when you call, for example, Claro, Tigo, or your internet or cable provider, what is it? What is the first thing that you do? Reset the modem. I'm sorry? Reset uh, the mod el modem. So you reset the modem. But when you are on a phone call, when you are on a phone call, cuando están en una llamada por teléfono, ¿qué es lo primero que ustedes hacen cuando están llamando? Uh, I introduce me. Ah, okay. So you greet me. the technician, let's call it like that, or the customer service representative. Customer service representative. Okay. And as Juan says, you introduce yourself. And then? I asked to the customer, what is his problem? Ah, okay. So you ask what the problem is. 
And then? Ve, pero esto es si, si lo estamos viendo del lado de, de la gente, ¿verdad? So we have greet the customer, you introduce yourself, you ask what the problem is, and then... Después de preguntar que, cuál es el problema, ¿qué es lo que hacemos? Darle indicaciones ah, okay. de qué puede hacer. We give instructions on what to do and then. And then what do we do? Si no logra resolver vía telefónica, pedirle que se acerque a una instalación para llevar el equipo. Okay. If not solved, ask to go to a branch. Se le pide que vaya a una agencia, ¿verdad? And then, ¿y si se le soluciona? Despedirse. Ok, we close the call. Good. So those are the steps that we are going to be following when we are making a phone call. Okay, first of all, if you are the agent, okay, if you are the agent, you are going to greet the customer. Then you're going to introduce yourself. You're going to ask what the problem is. Here you have, or you said that you're going to be give instructions on what to do. If it is not solved, you said that you can ask the customer to go to a branch. And if it's solved, we close the call. So for example, let's suppose that it's me the one that is calling. Hold on. So let's suppose that we are calling to a quien vamos a llamar. Yeah, most of the time they will start like, thank you for calling. And here we have the, the name of the company. Thank you for calling uh, X, Y, Z. My name is Araceli. How can I help you? Okay. So you can see here, I greeted the customer. I have introduced myself. And now I'm asking what the problem is. Okay. Ahí en, un, en el saludo, ¿verdad? Yo estoy prácticamente haciendo tres cosas. Aparte del saludo, ¿verdad? Ya me presenté y estoy preguntando cuál es el problema o cómo puedo ayudar. Ok. Thank you for calling XYZ. My name is Araceli. How can I help you? Ok. And then the customer will begin and he's going to tell us, he or she is going to tell us. Um, for example, if it is in the morning, uh, good morning, Araceli. I have a problem with my internet connection. Uh-huh. So what could be the problem here? Besides the internet connection, what can you tell me? What is the problem with the internet connection? The internet is slowly. Ah, okay. The internet is too slow. It's demasiado lento. Okay. And we can say, and I need to send 
a report immediately. Para añadirle este, un poquito de, 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 de drama, ¿verdad? And I need to send a report immediately. Necesito enviar un report inmediatamente. Ok. So, here, in my role as a customer service representative or as the agent, most of the time, what they do? Ah, they apologize. For example, they, they can say, I'm sorry to hear that. To hear that. When, uh, for example, when was the last time you had a problem like this? Okay, and then you start telling what the problem was or how that happened and so on. So, if not, you can start giving the instructions. Si no, ustedes pueden comenzar a dar lo que son las, las indicaciones. So, for example, I can tell you. Um, you said, reset the modem. So, you can say, sir or ma'am. Please reset your modem or what else can this person do? ¿Qué más pueden hacer aparte de lo que es reiniciar el modem? How do you say disconnectar? Unplug. Okay, unplug. El que vamos a desconectar. Energy. Oh. Or the power cable. Unplug the power cable. Que sería desconectar, ¿verdad? El el cable de control o de poder, ¿verdad? O de energía. Ajá. Uh -huh. What else? You can also say, check if the cables are properly connected. Que verifique o que revise si los cables están correctamente conectados. So you can see here we are giving solutions. We are giving instructions. Okay. So let's suppose that all these worked. Supongamos que todo esto trabajó. Okay. So I'm going to continue here. Me voy a venir para este lado. So the customer. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Okay. So in this case, let's suppose that everything that the, that the agent said worked. Supongamos que todo lo que le dijo la gente, verdad, le funcionó. Ahora ya puede comenzar otra vez. Ya tiene acceso a internet. Ya le trabaja todo. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I can send now my report. Okay. So you can see it's a short conversation. It's una conversación corta. Probably there is a lot of vocabulary that we are not familiar with yet. Probablemente hay bastante vocabulario con el que aún no estamos bien familiarizados, ¿verdad? But some of the useful words that we are going to be using. Can I erase this part? ¿Puedo borrar lo que está en verde? Yes. Okay. Thank you. So we have here some of the words that you said on blog, que es desconectar, verdad? Entonces conectar, blog. You can also say turn on o turn off. En el caso que es el modem, el problema, turn off the modem or reset, you said, reset, what else? 
You can also say check, que verifique. Ahí ustedes dicen si la, la conexión o si es el cable, etc. Ok, which other words do we use? ¿Qué otro tipo de palabras usamos? Configuration. I'm sorry. Configuration. Um, configuration, but what do you mean with configuration? You mean the settings? You can say check settings. And so on. Okay, so this is just an example about a phone call. Es un ejemplo de lo que es una llamada. So I'll stop sharing screen. Voy a dejar de compartir pantalla. Okay, so what are we going to do? What we are going to do is the following. Okay, since we are talking about tech support, Sorry, uh, which page were you? Okay, sorry, I'm going back. I'll start sharing screen again and I'm going to tell you what we are going to do. Okay, so here we are. Okay, so we have here. Here we have a short conversation and there is a third word. We are going to be working in this third word. So we are going to be working in breakup rooms and you are going to discuss the questions that we have based on the previous conversation, okay? And then we are going to work on exercise four that says check with problem, sorry, check which problems are the most common reasons to call tech support. Talk to two colleagues and compare your tables. So you're going to start working here individually and then you are going to put that in common. Van a ponerlo en común, ¿verdad? Okay, so in the breakup rooms, you are going to practice this short conversation that is on page 39. Vamos a practicar la conversación de la página 39. Luego, vamos a discutir lo que son estas dos preguntas y vamos a trabajar en el ejercicio número 4 con los literales A y B. Lo primero, ¿verdad? Ustedes van a ver cuáles son los cuáles son las razones más comunes para llamar a los de soporte técnico, ¿ok? Y luego van a comparar lo que ustedes tienen con sus compañeros, ¿ok? Is it clear what we are going to do? Yes. Okay. El cuatro sería teacher. Ajá. De los de los problemas que tenemos nosotros en nuestros propios trabajos, ¿verdad? Los problemas más comunes por los que usted digamos llamaría los de soporte técnico. Okay. So let me share screen again. For example. If I talk about me, si yo hablo de mí, ¿verdad? Y de los problemas que yo reporto con los compañeros allá de soporte técnico. The first one that I talked about is no internet access. Okay, another one that I can have is deleted files. Okay, or frozen screen. That's another common problem that I have. Or let me see. Well, in my case, those are the main problems I have. In my case, esos son los más comunes, ¿verdad? Que no tengo acceso a internet, se borran algunos archivos, o que la computadora se congela, la, la pantalla se congela, ¿ok? Luego, que ustedes hayan hecho eso de manera individual, lo van a poner en común con sus compañeros, ¿ok? Con los que van a estar trabajando en los breakup rooms, ¿ok? Yes? Okay. Yes. So let's get 
together right now. Vamos a ir entonces ahorita. Quiero ver. Va. ¿Cuántos tengo? 14. Ok. So, let's start working. Comencemos a trabajar entonces. Y ya los voy a pasar a ver a todos. Ahí que están haciendo. Bueno, primero vamos a hacer los problemas que tenemos más comunes nosotros en nuestro trabajo, ¿verdad? Y después lo vamos a comparar. Ok. Y yo ya tengo identificados los los otros chicos no van a ¿Cuántos somos los que estamos? Tres Solo tres, tres. Ah. Sí, okay. está, Practicamos ah. con, con Juan Carlos Bueno Ok Good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. I like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you questions. Okay. Good morning. This is Peter. Frontation Por. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Okay. Ahora el ejercicio. Ah, ahora voy. Ajá. Ah, lo practicamos nuevamente o, o avanzamos con la siguiente actividad. Y la siguiente actividad es que vamos a hacer algún diálogo nosotros o solo identificar los problemas que tenemos. Pero es que también está el ejercicio 3 de la página 39. 
Ajá. Darle respuesta a esas preguntas. ¿Verdad, teacher? Yes, that's right. What is it? Ah. Ok. Resolvamos esas. Resolvamos las entonces. La primera sería What is the easy with Robert? Y se sería calling. ¿Cómo reportó el problema? ¿Cómo reportó él el problema? Uh -huh. Calling from. Calling from. Sí. Calling, to... calling from the human resource. Llamando al departamento de. Recursos humanos. Calling to. Pero. Calling to. Tech support. Calling. Llamando a, al departamento de soporte técnico. Y que dice. Es que con eso empiezan. Sí, dejémoslo, solo, call, dejémoslo solo por llamada, llamada telefónica, porque te, te dice cómo reportó él el problema. No, ¿a dónde lo reportó? Sí, dice en la primera parte. Good morning, this is Peter from the Tech Support. Ah, no, that. en la pregunta te dice. Porque ahí solo dice cómo reporte oh. el problema. Con el tu report. Hablando. Yo he colocado calling to tech support. Ok, yeah, he called to tech support. Support. What? Pero, Tichel. Pero ahí dice que llamó al Departamento de Recursos Humanos. No, en el, no el primero es... dice Peter, él está contestando. Peter es el de soporte técnico, entonces él ah, está contestando. Y ah, luego ya. dice Robert que él está llamando de, de Recursos entonces, Humanos. Entonces al support. Uh -huh. Por eso es calling to the support. Uh -huh. Ok, good. Número en la número uno, teacher, es qué problema está teniendo o cómo se llamaría el tema del de, de, no sé. la conversación. Ajá. Okay, yeah, it says what is the issue with Uh, Robert's computer. ¿Cuál es el problema con la computadora de Robert? El niño que, que no está trabajando. Ok. ¿Qué es sim, teacher? Parece, parecer. Sí, sí. Parecer. Ah, parecer. Uh -huh. ah, parecer. It, says, it doesn't seem to work. No, ah, is problem are the most common reason to go to support new software, uh, internet matches, a video with the latest into the printer, so that's y los otros son los problemas que se nos dan como a menudo a nosotros, ni cuatro. Correcto. Pero son los más comunes, por la que llamarías al soporte técnico. Ok, yes. Ver, 
Let's just please follow. <laughs> Y la, la cuatro, ¿verdad, compañero? Solamente de chequear cuáles problemas son los más comunes y la razón para la cual llamar a soporte técnico. Las que nosotros tenemos en el trabajo. Ajá, yo pienso que es New Software, No Internet Access, en Deleted Files, Eso. In my world, the problem is no internet access, paper struggle in the printer. La mía es igual. Paper, strum, and printer. Y frozen screen. Es la reina lo que la cambia. Sí. Teacher, ¿verdad? Dice, pone no sin de CPU. Es de que se escucha sonido gracioso, ¿verdad? Algo así. Es, es el ruido, ¿verdad? Es un sonido. Y ahí dice funny noise, sí, como quien dice un sonido gracioso, divertido. But... I don't know. It could be or it could, could not. Está ahí como lo estamos diciendo al final. Como estamos haciendo. So tell me, what are you doing? Eh, for, for example, in, in my work, eh, no internet access, paper struck in the printer, only problem. No tengo más por lo menos en el trabajo, no. Okay, and are those the ones that you have in common? Todos esos son los que ustedes tienen en común. Bueno, por lo menos eso, el paper es el de printer. Okay. Entonces, Juan Osmel, este, ¿cuáles problemas tienes tú con tu trabajo? Juan? New software, no internet access, and delayed files. Un uh, chico. Esas son las más comunes. Delete file. Todo no inter. Delete file. Elimina los archivos. Sí. <laughs> ok. So we're going to go back to the main session. Vamos a ir entonces a la sesión principal. Ok. Okay, so we are going to check. First of all, let's see. Uh, let me just go there. Let me share screen with you. I'm going to need two volunteers to read the conversation. Let's see, volunteers. Okay, so I have Carlos and Miguel. Good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. I like to report a problem with my computer. 
What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some question. Okay. Good. Thank you. Uh, Senaida, I could see that you have, or that you want to participate. So we have Senaida and whom else? Me, teacher, Claudia. Thank you, Claudia. Okay. Good morning. This is Peter Frontage, support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. I like to report a problem with my computer. What it is, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Okay, good. And the last pair, una pareja más? No. Yo, Daniel. Okay, so I have Daniel and. Carlos, teacher. Maybe. Okay, thank you, Juan Carlos. Okay, good morning. This is Peter, Peter from Test Report. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Research Department. I would like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Okay. Okay, good. Um, okay, this is general feedback. Uh, we have here this word that is tech. Okay. Tech support. So we have good morning. This is Peter from tech support. How can I help you? How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resources Department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Okay, so you can see that there we have this future conversation. So pronunciation, remember, is tech. Okay, tech. So now let's go to the next part. So you were going to work here on exercises three and four. Uh, exercise three, we have the first question that says, what is the issue with Robert's computer? It doesn't work. Okay, it doesn't work. And the second question says, how does he report the problem? Calling to tech support. Okay, calling to tech support. Excellent. So now we have number four that says, check which problems are the most common reasons to call tech support. Talk to talk to two colleagues, sorry, and compare your tables. So where's group number one? Uh, we teacher with Reynaldo, uh, the other two, the other is Norma, and, Okay, so tell me, Daniel, um, what are the most common problems that you have, or what are the most common reasons that you call tech support? In my in my case, specifically, specifically, I don't use a computer. 
because my work don't, don't live. But uh, the, the most problem, uh, the, the problem, the most problem where I have is my cell phone is no internet access. I call to uh, tech support from uh, to Claro in my case. Okay, and how about the, the other, the rest of your group? Can you choose someone else from your group? From your group, sorry? It's Norma. Okay, Norma. In my work, I, I have a problem. For example, the internet is gone. The billing system goes down. System de facturación, billing system. Yes. Uh, the printer jumps. Um, a virus delete files uh, continuamente. Continuously. Continuously. Uh, that's all, teacher. Okay, thank you. Norma, choose another person from a different group. Uh, Claudia. Okay, Claudia. Uh, okay, in my case, is no internet access. Uh, deleted, no sé cómo se pronuncia. What do you say, teacher? Deleted, deleted files. Perdón. Deleted files. The leader files and uh, paper strip in printer. Uh, what do you say, Caída Sistema? System, you can say system issues. System? system issues. Issues, okay. Issues. Issues. Yes. Only in, in my email, oh, what do you say? Correo saturado or correo lleno. Ah, so you have a full inbox. El correo lo tiene lleno. My inbox full. Okay. Yeah, so it would, it's going to be full inbox. Okay. Okay, Claudia, can you, you you're welcome. Can you choose another person from a different group, please? Uh, group. Uh, Reinaldo Castro. Okay. Uh, I don't have internet. I have a problem with the antivirus. Only? Say only, only this. Okay, thank you. So, Reynaldo, choose one more person, please. Mm. Claudia Estuvo. Yes. Eh, Juan Carlos. <laughs> Juan Carlos, está bien atento, eh? <laughs> okay, so we're going to have Juan yeah. Carlos. Um, the usually the problem which uh, no internet access um, frozen screen and then delete files deleted deleted files files okay Thank you, deleted files. Okay, good. Deleted files. Uh, hold on, I'm going to check attendance in a few seconds, but I need you to tell me if you have any question. Preguntas hasta acá? 
No. No. Okay, so I'm going to check attendance right now. Albanelli Reyes. Present teacher. Okay, Anadelmi Herrera. Carlos Alberto Meléndez. Present. Okay, Claudia Guadalupe Arias. Present. Thank you, Consuelo del Carmen. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Thank you, Daniel Enrique Orellana. Present. Thank you, Giovanni Alexander Pineda. Isabel Beatriz. Juan Carlos Peña. Present teacher. Thank you, Juan Osmel Vizcarra. Present teacher. Thank you, Linda Yvette Márquez. Present teacher. Thank you, Miguel Ángel Domínguez. Present teacher. Thank you, Norma Carolina Villeda. Present teacher. Thank you, Renata Romero. Reinaldo Castro. Present teacher. Thank you, Senaida América. Present teacher. Thank you, Silvia Suleima. Present teacher. Thank Present you. teacher. Thank you. Xiomara del Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you. Daniela Alexandra Rivera. And Jenny Carolina Martinez. Okay, perfect. So what are we going to do now? Lo que vamos a hacer entonces ahorita. So since we've been talking about tech support and all that, so we are going to start talking about ways to report a problem and the common issues that we can report. So I'll share screen. We are going to continue working on the student's book. So you can see here we have some ways to report a problem. I'm going to read them for you. And then I'm going to be asking for some of you to repeat them, okay? So we have, I would like, I would like to report a problem. I would like to report an issue. I have a trouble with, acá, cuando yo estoy usando, I have a trouble with, for example, I can say, I have a trouble with my cell phone. I have a trouble with the fork leaf. I have a problem with the machine and so on. Okay. And then we have the common issues. Uh, it does not seem to work. It makes a strange or funny night noise. It does not turn on. Okay. So those are some common issues that we can report. So what are we going to be doing? Um, we are going to go again to break up rooms, but you are going to be working with different people. And we are going to work on this activity. It says, what are the common issues you have in your workplace? Write down the most common problems you have with the equipment in your office. Write the problems you and your classmates have in common in the middle section, okay? So here, in this part, you're going to write the common problems that you have with the equipment in your office. And in this part, it doesn't say, but you are going to write your classmates' problems or issues. And in the middle, you are going to write the ones that you have in common, okay? Then, what we are going to do is that we are going to report a problem to tech support, okay? So we are going to be doing it like a phone call, okay? You are going to write three problems or you can choose from the problems that you have 
previously, previously sorry, talked about, you can choose one and you are going to write three problems for each piece of equipment, okay? You're going to add the name of a piece of equipment and we are going to be practicing by reporting one of those problems to a classmate, okay? So there are two activities that we are going to be doing. The first one is number five. You're going to be talking about the most common issues that you have. Vamos a estar hablando de los problemas más comunes que ustedes tienen en el trabajo, ¿verdad? Les dije que en uno, digamos en esta casilla, van a escribir los de ustedes. En la del lado derecho, las de sus compañeros. Y en medio, las que ustedes tengan en común. ¿Ok? Luego, ustedes van a empezar o van a hacer una conversación reportando un problema a su propio técnico. ¿Ok? En el grupo con el que van a estar, van a escribir tres problemas. Aquí dice que para cada pieza del equipo, ¿verdad? Pero de los que ustedes trabajaron acá, van a escoger uno. Y van a escribir los problemas que pueden dar esos equipos, ¿verdad? Luego, dice que van a agregar el nombre de una pieza del equipo, ¿verdad? En su trabajo, usando el diagrama en la página 41. So let me see, page 41 is this one. So you can see we have the item and possible problems, okay? Acá tenemos el artículo y los problemas posibles que puedan presentar, okay? Then you are going to practice reporting one of those problems to a classmate. Van a practicar reportando uno de esos problemas a un compañero, okay? So... You can see, we are going to use this expression. Vamos a usar estas expresiones, ¿verdad? So, a volunteer. Let me see. ¿Algún voluntario? Okay, thank you, Nelly. Nelly? Hi, teacher. Can you read these expressions, please? Okay. Uh, I, would, I would like to report a problem. Uh, I would like to report a issue. An issue. I have a trouble with. I have trouble. The six teacher? A trouble. Trouble that's with. Six teacher or only the three? Only these three. Thank you. So, okay. okay. Let I me see. Sorry, Nelly, can you choose another person, please? Daniel Enrique. Thank you, Daniel. Um, Common Here. issues to report. The last. The three of them. To work. What? I'm sorry, continue. It makes it a uh, stranger funny nice. It does not turn on. Okay, thank you. Daniel, choose another person, please. Norma, Carolina. Okay, Norma. Um, I would like to report an issue. My computer, it does not turn on. My computer? It does not Turn on. Doesn't turn on. Okay. My computer doesn't turn on. Okay. Excellent. So you can see that she is giving us an example. Ahí ella nos está dando un ejemplo, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a ir a trabajar ahorita con los breakout rooms. So we are going to be working with different people. Vamos a trabajar con personas diferentes. And tell me, what are the activities that you are going to do? ¿Cuáles son las actividades que van a hacer? What is the first one? Uh, 
Eh, el problema es que nosotros tenemos en China. Ok, and the second one? Lo que nuestros compañeros tienen en la oficina. Ok, and then? Y la tercera es lo que tenemos los dos en común. Nosotros and then? Los compañeros. A ver si cuadramos. Ok, good. So, we're going to go to breakout rooms. ¿Quieren seguir trabajando con las mismas personas? No. Ok, va, vamos a crear otro. Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Va, pues los mando a los mismos breakout rooms. So, let's begin. Daniel. 